so we are going to see the bilinear transformation method so in analog filter design we are having two methods one is two two types of filter one is butterworth filter and chebyshev filter and the transforming an analog filter into digital filter we are having three methods that is approximation of derivatives bilinear transformation and impulse invariance method so in these three methods we are going to study first the bilinear transformation so the iir filter can be designed using approximation of derivative method and impulse invariant transformation method however the iir filter design using these methods is appropriate only for the design of low pass filters this approximation of derivative method and impulse invariant method these two methods are only useful for designing low pass filters and band pass filters whose resonant frequencies are small so these techniques are not suitable for high pass and band reject filters or band stop filters this limitation is to is overcome in the mapping technique called bilinear transformation so why you are coming to this bilinear transformation method the impulse invariant method and the impulse invariant method and the <coughs> approximation of derivative methods is not suitable for high pass filter and band stop filters so in order to overcome this disadvantage we are going for bilinear transformation so bilinear transformation is a one to one mapping from s domain to z domain in bilinear transformation we are mapping from s domain to z domain that is the bilinear transformation is a conformal mapping that transforms the imaginary axis of s plane into the unit circle in the z plane only once thus avoiding aliasing of frequency components so since this bilinear transformation is mapping the imaginary axis of s plane into the unit circle only once the aliasing of frequency components is avoided in this mapping all points in the left half of s plane are mapped inside the unit circle in the z plane so all the poles or points in the left half of the s planes are mapped inside the unit circle in the z plane and all the points in the right half of s plane are mapped outside the unit circle in the z plane so the transformation of a stable analog filter results in a stable digital filter since this s domain to z domain transformation is a stable we can design a stable digital filter <coughs> the bilinear transformation can be obtained by using the trapezoidal formula for the numerical integration the system function of analog filter h a of s is equal to b divided by s plus a so the differential equation describing the above analog filter can be written as this h a of s is this, this is nothing but the system function the system function can be written as output divided by input y of s is the output and x of s is a input is equal to b divided by s plus a while taking the laplace transform so while taking the laplace transform of this you will be getting s into y of s plus a into y of s is equal to b into x of s while taking the laplace transform of that previous equation we are getting s into y of s plus a into y of s is equal to b into x of s taking inverse laplace transform on both sides <clears throat> so we are taking inverse laplace transform of this equation so we'll be getting d into y of t divided by dt plus a into y of t is equal to b into x of t so we are integrating this equation between the limits n t minus t and n t so 
the initial limit is n t minus t and the final limit is n t. We are going, we are differentiating this equation d y of t by dt plus a into y of t is equal to b into x of t. So, we are applying the trapezoidal rule for this integration. For this integration, we are applying the trapezoidal rule. So, while trapeze applying trapezoidal rule, we are getting it as the, the trapezoidal rule is integration of my n t minus t lower limit n t minus t limit minus n t minus t to n t a of t into dt is equal to t by 2 a of n t plus a of n t minus t. So, by applying this trapezoidal rule to this equation, you can write this as y of n t minus y of n t minus t upper limit minus lower limit plus t by 2 into a into t by 2 into y of n t plus a into t by 2 of y of n t minus t. So, we have applied the trapezoidal rule to the left hand side. Now, we are going to apply the trapezoidal rule to the right hand side. So, b into t by 2 of x n t plus b into t by 2 of x n t minus t. So now, we are going to take the z transform to this expression. Now, initially what, what we are doing? So, first we are applying, we are having one equation that in, to this equation you are applying inverse Laplace transform and that inverse Laplace transform you are applying the integration. We are integrating that equation between the limit n t minus t to n t. We are applying the limit n t minus t to n t. Then we are applying trapezoidal rule for numeric integration. We are getting like this. And finally, we are taking the z transform for this equation. For this expression or equation, we are taking z transform. So, y of z into 1 minus z inverse into <coughs> a into t by 2, 1 plus z inverse into y of z plus b, by, uh, b into t by 2, 1 plus z inverse into x of z. Therefore, the system equation or system function can be written as b divided by 2 by t into 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z, z, z inverse plus a. So, comparing this with the analog fi filter system function, we will be getting s is equal to 2 by t into 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse. Or simply we can write it as 2 by t into z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. So, after rearranging, so this is yes. What is yes? S is equal to 2 by t z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. Now, from this we are going to calculate z. So, here yes, here you are having s. s is 2 by t into z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. Now, we are going to find z. z is equal to 1 plus t by 2 into s divided by 1 minus t by 2 into s. z is equal to 1 plus t by 2 into s yes, divided by 1 minus t by 2 into s. Yes. This is a relation between the analog and digital poles in bilinear transformation. So, to convert an analog filter function into an equivalent digital filter function, just to put s is equal to 2 by t into 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse. The general characteristics of the mapping z is equal to e to the power s t may be obtained by putting s is equal to f 
sigma plus j omega and expressing the complex variable z in the polar form as z is equal to r into e to the power j omega in the above equation for s. So, you will be getting s is equal to 2 by t z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. So, instead of z, we are going to put r into e to the power j omega. So, while substituting s is equal to sigma plus j, j omega, that is this omega is nothing but the analog frequency, analog cutoff frequency omega, we will be getting the analog cutoff frequency omega is equal to 2 by t into 2 r sin digital omega divided by 1 plus r square plus 2 r into cos omega. This omega is digital cutoff frequency and this omega is analog cutoff frequency. So, here the ohm symbol we will be calling it as analog frequency omega and ordinary omega we will be telling it as digital cutoff frequency omega. So, from this above equation, we observe that if r is less than 1 and then sigma is less than 0 and if r is greater than 1 and sigma is greater than 0 and if r is equal to 1, then sigma is equal to 0. Hence, the left half of S plane maps into the points inside the unit circle in the Z plane and the right half of the S plane maps into the points outside the unit circle in the Z plane and the imaginary axis of S plane maps into the unit circle in the Z plane. This transformation result in a stable digital system. The relation between analog and digital frequencies. On the imaginary axis of S plane, sigma is equal to 0 and the correspondingly in the z plane r is equal to 1. Sigma is equal to 2 by t into 2 sin omega divided by 1 plus 1 plus 2 cos omega. That is equal to 2 by t sin omega divided by 1 plus cos omega. So, 2 by t into this sin omega we are writing it as <coughs> sin <coughs> omega uh, by 2 cos omega by 2. So, and here you will be getting 1 plus uh, this cos omega you are writing it as cos square omega by 2 minus 1. So, finally you will be getting anal uh, analog cutoff frequency omega is equal to 2 by 2, 2 by t tan omega by 2. So, this is a relation between analog frequency and digital frequency. Sir, not recorded, sir.